Brought to you by Amon Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. When it comes to iconic garden tractors, the John Deere 110, introduced in 1963, stands near or maybe at the very top of the list. And John Deere built the 110 for a long time. Bobby Dix from South Carolina, you have, what, a John Deere 110 from what year? 1967. And what did they do a little differently as they got into building the 110s, you know, well beyond the introduction year? Well, they they made such a good tractor, it, you know, just keeps people who liked it and uh, it did a good job. As you can see, it's still lasting today and runs good. Why are you such a fan of John Deere tractors? I know they've been in your blood a long time. Well, I was raised, you know, on John Deere, so... Uh, I like to hear them run, especially the old two-cylinders, and uh, I just fell in love with Lonely Garden tractors. Year 1967, John Deere 110 celebrates its 50th birthday in the year 2017. Still a good tractor? What do you think you, John Deere got right with this one? Yeah, they got it right. Uh, I have no problems with it. I've owned it for roughly 15 years, and uh, it's still, we take it to a lot of parades, tractor shows, and all, all around the country, so, and it does a good job. What are some of the features on the tractor? This one has hydraulic lifts, got the snow blade, and uh, everything is hydraulics on it, uh, and they still work fine, no leaks. And how about the engine under the hood? It's got an eight horse Kohler, and it's still doing a good job. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the additions you've made to the tractor. Uh, are those original to 1967 or the middle 1960s with John Deere? Right. In fact, I bought the hubcaps on it from John Deere. And uh, the uh, plow on the rear, that's uh, from the same era as the uh, tractor is. And, uh, of course, the snow blade came with it when I bought it. But everything is original on it. So an original John Deere snow blade from the middle 1960s, a cultivator on the back. It looks like a showroom shine on this 50-year-old tractor. Uh, what's it like to drive this one? Well, I love to drive this. And another thing, they're easy to work on. They're easy to haul around, especially when you go in a long distance. And uh, it's just a convenient little tractor. I know you've been into John Deere farm tractors for a while, but the garden tractor uh, hobby, you think that's growing strong? Oh yeah, still growing. Uh, I've been in it for a little over 15 years now, the lawn and garden tractors. Uh, of course, I still got the big tractors too, but uh, these things are all my pride and joy. And they're a little bit of history in themselves, aren't they? They sure are. They really helped the people back in the 60s when they came out in the uh, Game of riding a lawnmower that they could depend on, so it uh, it did a good job there. All right, Bobby Dix from South Carolina, thanks for sharing the story of your John Deere 110. Well, I thank you for showing it to the folks on Classic Tractor.